Good afternoon and happy Wednesday. This is Abby with the Fairport Public Library and I've got another craft for you today. Today we are going to be making a very useful craft that is super easy and uses very few supplies. I do want to apologize about my background. We're getting the house painted, but it's going to be nice and fresh the next time I make a video. But for now, let's get started. Here's what you're going to need for today's craft. A good amount of rope or cord, uh, a glue gun, I got the Gorilla Glue glue sticks for this one because I want it to be sturdy. And you're going to need a little bit of patience because this one might take a little while. So our first step is making the bottom of our basket. So I've unwrapped the rope. I'm going to just move it off to the side here and I'm going to take the end. I'm actually going to leave the tape on this side because it's going to be inside in the bottom. So you're not really going to see it. Um, and we're going to start curving it to make our bottom. So I'm gonna take my glue stick. This is where the patience comes in because it's gonna be a little bit tedious to start. We're gonna just turn it in on itself there. And then I'm just gonna run a bead of glue along this rope and I'm gonna turn it in on itself. Let me get a little closer so you can see so that I'm not off screen. I apologize about that. I'll show you, we're doing a bead along the edge, pretty good size, and we're turning it in on itself. And I'm holding this part tight with my other hand so to keep it together. All right, so this is a good base. Now, I'm making a little bit of a bigger basket. You could do about a little bit of this if you wanna do like a pencil cup. And you know, guys, now that I'm looking at this, it kind of looks like it would be a good trivet. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, it, it would be, but I'm not making a trivet, I promise. <laughs> I, I will never promise to stop bringing it up though because it is now an inside joke with us. So you can see all my little glue strings hanging out. So now that I've got a good base, so this is gonna be um, my solid base for my basket, I'm gonna start building it up. So I'm just gonna slowly start moving the rope up. So at this point, I'm gonna start doing it on the actual rope itself instead of the one I'm adding because it'll be easier for me to work that way. So you can see I'm already going into my third glue stick. I should, I should make like a little prison counter on the counter. One, two. <laughs> So I'm going into my third. And like I said, now I'm doing it on the rope itself so that I can see where I'm placing it. So it's gradual, but I want it to start being on top of itself because I don't want it to be too far over my base. So I'm slowly getting it on top of this one line here. Sorry for my camera angles in this one, guys. I'm trying to wrangle this rope. It's proving to be a little bit harder than I expected. So now you can see I'm going up onto the other rope. And I'm going to start making sure that I'm going right on top of the rope because I want it to be um, straight up as best I can. So I'm going to put that line right on top of there to encourage myself to start stacking instead of growing out. I always encourage myself not to grow out <laughs> these days, you know, especially since we're all stuck inside for quarantine. Wouldn't it be nice if we could eat whatever we want and instead of growing wider, we grew taller. <laughs> I have a feeling we'd all be freakishly tall though. That might be a bad idea. I'm rethinking it guys. <laughs> all right. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. I have not cut the rope. It's all a continuous line of rope. I'm just going to keep pinning it down until I get a good height on this. So to save you time from sitting and watching this, I will come back when I've got a good height. I'm at the five glue stick check-in. 
just so you can see how it's going. So at this point, if you want to have a bowl-like um, situation, you could stop here. I'm gonna keep going. All right, checking back in. I'm at seven glue sticks. It's pretty big right now. I'm tempted to stop here. I could be pulling a Tower of Babel here, and sorry to get biblical on you, but because I have so many glue sticks and a lot of rope left, I'm like, why don't I just keep going? But I'm gonna be real. Who's gonna need that tall of a basket? <laughs> I mean, it just would get difficult to reach in and grab things at that point. So I might do two or th three more circles and then I'm gonna end and I will show you how to finish it off. So, all right, I'm gonna keep going, but I'm not gonna keep going to the point of which it falls down. Okay, welcome back. I mean, it hasn't been any time for you. It's literally like seconds. So I did another row um, and now I'm going to finish it off. Now I left this little jute piece in here to tell me where to end. So this is about the time I started rounding up. So I'm gonna bring it rounded up to here. So whoever wrapped this cord was a real jerk because they were doing it great and then they started getting it mixed up with itself. So, so right here is about where I want it to end. So I'm going to cut my cord and I have no idea how difficult this is gonna be. Oh good, it wasn't that bad. And what I might do is cut it at an angle. Guys, this could go very poorly. Trust me, I did not prep this part. I'm just kind of guessing. So I think I'm gonna try to cut it at an angle so that it lies flat. flat as a can. I don't know guys, was that pointless? Let's see, I'm gonna take a little more off. So it's not quite as rough an edge as I was, as it would be if I didn't do that. It was not quite as thick, so. I took off a few inches. Not really, it was not that much, but you saw. So I'm gonna line my piece of glue up. I am on glue stick eight, just so you are knowing if you're following the, the drama. And for this end here, I'm gonna give it a little extra glue. I don't want it falling to pieces. So I'm gonna use my glue stick to kind of seal it off a little bit. Is it gonna look the best? Apparently not, but you know what? We're home crafters, so we do what we can. All right, I will trim that up a little bit once it's dry with my scissors to take off any glue edges, but there we go. A nice little pot. So I'm gonna let that dry for a second and then I'll show you some finishing. Here we are ready for finishing. So I clipped off some of the excess glue that I used to seal it. Um, there are some glue stick strings in here, but as you know, if you've worked with glue stick before, it's a never ending battle stealing glue stick strings off of things. So just resign yourself to doing that for the rest of your days and you will be happy with your new rope basket. So to finish it, I'm gonna just take the twine that was wrapped around the skein of um, rope to begin with, and I'm gonna loop it around a few times around the top. And then to finish it, I made this um, tassel out of baker's twine. And if you or someone you love would like to learn how to make a tassel out of baker's twine, comment on this video and I will do a video on Baker's Twine tassels because they're so cute, right? Look at this thing. So I'm going to, see, 
see it's going to be a little bit long but that's okay so i'm going to put this through here put this through here twirl. I'm just going to tie it and then I'm going to tuck the excess twine into the other pieces of twine so you don't really notice it. And there you go. A cute little basket with a little tassel. Oh my gosh you guys. I'm loving it. So, things you could use this for. You could put um, your cooking utensils in here. Like I said before, you could put a pot and a plant in there. You could put your excess glue sticks in there, although you're not going to have many excess glue sticks after you make this. But you can put craft supplies in there or other crafts. Oh my gosh, that's crafts, craftception. A craft inside a craft. But you can use this for basically anything. You could put your remotes in it in your living room if you wanna have a cute place to hide your electronics. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with it and it was very easy. It did not take a lot of steps. It was a little time consuming, but overall, I am pleased. There you go, you did it. You made a really cool craft. I mean, I'm really in love with this thing. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. If you make it, tell me how you use yours. Or if you just like to watch the videos, tell me how I should use this because there's so many options. You can see as it's next to my head just how big it is. I don't know if you got to see that when I was making the video, but it's gonna be very useful. And like I said, it's wonderfully customizable so you can make any kind of size that you want or you can make a trivet. <laughs> just kidding. But. I will see you here next Wednesday. I always enjoy making crafts with you and I can't wait till next week.